Hey guys. Yeah. You expecting this? I should have done this sooner, but now is good time as ever. This is Mega Man NG, and today we're going to be doing a very special video. A video devoted to the entirely of the indivisible prototype. And it's made by the same people that gave us Skullgirls. And it's pretty good. And this is actually a work in progress, and the link in the description leads you to a Kickstarter. Or rather, an Indiegogo. And these guys are the most honest, down-to-earth, and good people. Because they want to see this dream come true. While you are playing as a prototype, the game is a work in progress and some details may not be representative of the final version. All the more reason for me to be excited for it. And this is it. The indivisible prototype in all its glory. So I figure why not show some coverage for it. And this is interesting. Your controls are similar. You can punch, you can jump. You can also run by holding the directional button. Rotate, wait. And there's even voice acting, too. Ah, great. Alright, now we get to the meat of the gameplay. The colored screen border means the enemy is attacking. To defend, hold Anya's action button down, and that's the circle button. Defending costs EG meter, which is at the top of the screen. No way. And we gotta wait till it attacks. After winning a battle, any remaining AG meter is converted into health. Which is nice. And if you double tap, you can basically do it like one faster. Try holding up or down when attacking to use different attacks. I just up attack and hit multiple enemies simultaneously. And by doing this multiple times, you can deal a lot of damage this way. And this is pretty useful since you want to deal a lot of damage to these guys. And now Aja can now attack twice in a row during battle. And the more attacks you have, the better. And she can even wall jump too. To so switch targets, you can press either left and right anytime when you're not attacking. Pretty useful if you want to like determine which is the best course of action. Uh oh, now they're attacking. And bye bye. Well, talk about a white bitch. And yeah, to be honest, I've always wanted to try this prototype out a lot. This is made by the same people that gave us Soul Girls. And now we have a new party member, Zebe the Archer. And with more party members, meaning that now you can be able to do things you can't do. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nuts, I didn't block. And with this, this can provide like multi hitting combos. Pretty useful. Oh, shoot. That dealt a lot of damage. Ah, oh, nice. Gotta jump up. Now the fun begins. And that's a lot of damage right there. Yeah, having to adapt with multiple characters is not going to be easy. When at least one level of Edie Meteor and an action available, hold the R1 button, then press an action button to use an Indie power. And this one provides a healing option. There are multiple possibilities, so if you have more party members and you haven't level up as much, then you can be able to make use of it. But like I said, I really am hyped in playing this game because it's made by the same people that gave us the Skullgirl series. And not only now we have more enemies to deal with. Ah, no. Yeah, 
Yeah, I told him I'm off. I hit him. It's not gonna work, my friend. And now Zebe can attack twice in a row. This is gonna give us a load of possibilities. All about an arrow storm, it's ingenious. I like it. Hit the floor, pal. And these that special attacks, I think of them more like super moves. But hey, it works. Oh nuts. No, it looks like the way is blocked. Alright. Yeah. I'm just so focused on the game, to be honest. And I hear that Indivisible is going to be having a lot of guest characters. Like, for example, Shovel Knight is one of them. And I really look forward to playing it. And most recently, Shantae is going to be in there, too. Ow. And it still has the same sound effects. Good. Alright, now we have the Uri Master Tongue Guard to aid us. And that's what I call dealing a lot of damage. Yeah, did that hurt? It should. Just make sure you don't suffer too much damage. And I miss. In most cases, the attacks do miss. Ooh, that was beautiful. Beautiful and painful. I really do hope this game ends up getting better. And we now have Tungar can attack twice. Or rather, in this case, I hope the pro like Indiegogo campaign does succeed. Cause I nah. Okay. Ow. That was ingenious. Now... At least I dodged that well. This could provide a whole slew of possibilities. There's an axe right there. Time to go airborne with it. And now we have the Shamanus. And now we have the Axe. Now instead of our punches, we can now use this Axe to reach higher locations. This adds a bit of platform. Alright. That's what I call sweet. Hmm, I wonder what else is here. Ooh, that was painful right there. That's beautiful. Amazing how an entire team of party members can work. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. And plus, with the axe Tonga has, or rather, Ajna has, she can be able to deal a lot of damage. That's cool. Oh, we have been down here. Now we gotta keep on going down even further.
yeah, this is where I got the axe, now I gotta go all the way back up and, like, explore a bit more. Well, let's be honest, this is just really fun. It's more like an action game, but has RPG elements into it as well. And I'm a sucker for these kinds of games. Not to mention the wall jumping really does remind me of games like Mario, where you have to use wall jumping as a sort of way of parkour. Hang on, let me get this guy. On point. Check this out. Man, and that had I heard, it's gonna hurt you a lot more, trust me. And with it, all our teammates have our help restored. Sweet. Yeah! Well, talk about an ambush. Very painful. Battle system is so simple yet so easy. It's easy to pick up and play rather quick. That's what I call beating. Right on target. Ow. Now Rosmi can attack twice in a row. And look at this. This is just absolutely beautiful. Now where are we going? Now we're entering another temple. Now we gotta wait. Come on. Painful, isn't it? Lock that pretty well. And now we get more healing. This should really help us a lot. Very good. And you like that? And these guys are tougher now. Now Azure can attack three times. The more we bow, the more attacks we get. <laughs> this is this is too awesome and addictive. As a shortcut, you can press L1 to defend with all your characters at once. Defending with more characters drains E.D. Fasso, so time your guard well. And it attacks everyone. Check this out. Here comes the storm. This one packs a lot of punishment. And ran through us. Okay. And the higher the level, the stronger your attack is. Good thing everyone's healed, too. I see where this takes us. Ow! Bro. 
Nice try, won't work. Painful, isn't it? the battle system. And now Zebei can attack three times. And I keep going higher now. Ow! And these guys are not going to spare no expense. Come on. Nice try. And Ajna's not 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 brewing pretty good. Much better. So far so good. Is that all you got? Wow, this is getting good. Uh-oh. Really getting good. Uh oh, now he's attacking. And it's gonna repeat. So, my better solution is just hold down all four buttons and everyone blocks. That way, you don't wait. Now, Tungar can attack three times in a row. How sweet. Great, I fell. No problem, I can just keep on going all the way up. Higher and higher. And yes, if you encounter any weak enemies, you can just whack them with this and they're done. Pretty simple. And he missed. That was lousy. Ooh, that was painful. Oh, no. Heal up! That's a lot of damage. 
And you can tell we are gonna get hit by the, like the color. Like that. Stay back. Incoming. Nah, it won't work. Come on, why go after the mid like healer? One, two. Yeah, did that hurt? Get away. These guys are persistent, I tell you. Should basically deal with you. Now Razmi can attack three times. Good, we need more of Razmi's attacks. I'll take care of this here. And look at that, they're not much of a threat, they're running away. Bye bye. Oh, shoot. And there's a lot of them. Oh, man, this is going to be insane. Really insane. What, you running away? Get back here! There, now I can kick your butt! Hey, is that painful for you? Come on! Done. This place is blocked by a boulder. Looks like we need to find something in order to progress. And he goes way far. Let's see him try to catch up to us. And not gonna work. Now it's at level two. And yeah, by holding all of it, it drains. Come on. Now it's at level three. And that was a lot of damage. Yeah, stay down, it suits you. And he's done. Use the rest of your life still zone. What is this? And we have a boss fight. And this boss fight's really, oh, nuts, no, really challenging. Incoming. 
Oh, he's gonna attack. And he does a lot of damage. And even though we're dealing a little at a time... Wow. Now I gotta heal up. Oh, he brought out moves. That is not good. Oh, damn. Okay. Gotta dish out major damage. And heal. This guy can take quite a while. And that didn't help either. And they can attack multiple enemies at once. And they bring more! This can't be good. That's not gonna help matters! Oh dear. Okay, that's good. You know, that's not gonna work, right? <laughs> nice, we're at max level. With a max level, we can now be able to max block. Heal up! Okay, good. Block that. That saved me, at least for now. Good. Gotta make sure I'm at max so that way I can do an onslaught. And back to on my feet. Yeah, it won't work. That isn't better at all. Not as better at all when I don't have a meter to defend myself with. Oh, 
Good. That's not good. Now we can attack. Everyone healed up and back on their feet. Nice try. And this thing got low health now. Not working. That was a relief. Y'all have no stick to healing. Nope. And I gotta say, this game is just really amazing to look at. Almost got him. Okay. And they're attacking again. Persisted much? Is it over? Yeah, it is. Wow, what a fight. What a heck of a fight that was. Let's go, Rodi. Wow, that was pretty cool. Well, that's it, but this is just only for a demonstration because there is a lot more to do in this game. There's so much to explore, so much to see. It's just insane, and at the end of the bit, you fight an intense boss and it can be nuts. If you want to support this campaign, please make sure there's a link right there on the screen itself, and I'll be putting it in the description below. And yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me, and don't forget to share it around. And who knows, if, I, if the final version of Indivisible comes out, I will be LPing it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, peace out.